guys and welcome back to Reading Club. So today I'm going to read you Daisy and the Trouble with Coconuts, Chapter 15. Chapter 15. Once Granby had paid the coconut shy man some money, I was sure he'd win me a coconut. But on his first throw, he only hit the back of the tent. Grampy said he was just getting his eye in with his first shot and that he was sure that he would hit a coconut with his second throw. Trouble is, he didn't. His second ball went right over the top of the coconuts. Grampy said that the second ball had slipped out of his hands by mistake and that his third ball had coconut written all over it. But I don't know who by. Then he told us to watch and learn. The trouble with watching and learning is sometimes you're not sure what to watch and learn. Because not only did Granby miss again, he pulled a muscle in his shoulder. Nanny said it served him right for throwing the ball so hard. Trouble is, now that his shoulder was pulled, Granby had to retire injured with two balls left to throw. The trouble with having two balls left to throw is you then have to decide who is going to throw them. I thought I should probably have the last two goes because I had the most coconut ball throwing experience. But then Nanny said, why don't we throw one each? Which actually was a really good idea because guess what? You're never going to believe this. Nanny actually hit an actual coconut with her very first actual throw. Honestly, she aimed her ball, did a little dance, and then wham! She blammed a coconut first time. When Nanny's ball hit the coconut, I leaped right up into the air and did a little dance because I was absolutely certain we had won a prize. The trouble, the coconut she hit made a really good noise like it wouldn't clunk. Then it wobbled. The only thing it didn't do was fall off the stick. Instead of falling off, it just stayed there. Granby said Nanny should have thrown her ball harder. But Nanny said if she had, she would have pulled her shoulder too. I said if you hit a coconut, you should win the coconut. Trouble is, the coconut tray man wouldn't change the rules which made me crosser and more furious than I've ever been in my whole life, which is why I threw the last ball at him. The trouble with throwing a wooden ball at a coconut shy man is if it hits him on the head, it could kill him. Luckily, I only hit him on the leg. Actually, it wasn't even his leg. It was only his knee. I know it was his knee because it sounded like a coconut. Nanny and Grampy said they were really disappointed in me when I threw my last ball at the coconut tree man. In fact, they were so disappointed in me that they made me say sorry. But guess what? Even though I said sorry, the coconut tree man still banned me from having any more goes or from coming within 10 meters of the stall, which meant now I was never going to win a coconut at the fun fair, ever. And all because I'd hit a great big coconut tree man on the leg with a teensy wooden ball. Well, that's the end of this channel. I hope you enjoyed my readings of it, and I'll come back later with a new and improved channel. Bye, everybody!